So, hello. My first question is, could you please introduce yourself and also uh, talk briefly about the project you're here to present, uh, the Ability Awards? My name is Caroline Casey, and I'm the founder of an organization called Canchi. We work to unleash the power of the one billion people in the world who have a disability by creating a global business movement on inclusive business. The Ability Awards program is one of our methodologies to do that. And essentially, it is a 14-month business program. It is a nine-stage competition which identifies best practice um, where business is including disability in its value chain. So that's recognizing best practice, including people with disabilities as customers, suppliers, employees, and members of the community. This competition is underpinned by a rigorous verification and assessment process, which is uh, conducted uh, by PwC to ensure quality and transparency and consistency. Um, the whole competition uh, is grounded in a very big uh, multimedia communications campaign, which allows us to create awareness within the business community and the public around the economic advantages of disability in business. It has a four uh, multi-stakeholder uh, partners, so we engage with business and media and government and the disability community. And the most critical su success factor of the awards is that there is, has to be leadership right across all of our stakeholder groups. And when the very final stage of the awards happens, we have the president or prime minister of a country, every CEO of a co uh, every company that, has a C uh, that is involved within the program has to have the CEO very much involved and committed. And that's been where we've been able to get huge success. The program has to run for three cycles. Uh, in a country which takes five years. So we find at the end of that uh, we have created a really exciting environment for change, leadership around the disability business case and extraordinary case studies and examples of best practice which can be uh, replicated and role models which can be emulated. Okay, um, so when we think about uh, replicating uh, this program internationally, do you see any obstacles for that? Well, we have really big replication plans. Uh, we've uh, been in Ireland and we've gone to Spain. We want to go to 10 countries in five years, have a thousand ability companies. It's a big, big ask. So what are the obstacles? Well, I think the key challenges are finding the right partners. Um, our success has been because we've worked with partners who are committed to what we do, who recognize the enormous ambition of what we're trying to achieve, knowing that it's very, it's leading, this work that we're doing is leading, so we really need to get the, the partners who are willing to take the risk with us and are willing to go that journey because it's a five-year partnership. So our biggest, I think the, the biggest thing that we worry about is making sure the right business sponsor, uh, business sponsor or partner and then the right implementing partner because we do not want to create an Irish organization in countries around the world. We want to hand this process over so it becomes that country's process. Okay. And uh, the last question would be, um, what are your impressions of the Zero Project Conference so far and also what is your wish for the future? Well, I mean, my impressions of the Zero Conference, I mean, I've been lucky enough to be asked to moderate it for the last two years, so I'm a big fan, okay? Um, what, I, what, I, what I see this year is I see a lot more conversation, a lot more interaction between people. I think the key, the key thing that makes this conference work is that people come from multi-stakeholder groups, Everybody's very passionate about what they do here, and it's using people's experience and expertise from a variety of backgrounds. It's a combination of policies and practices that makes their great impact. And this conference is grounded in a really significant report. My wishes for the Zero Project and conference in the future is I would love this because it's fantastic. It's your beautiful city, Vienna, I love it. But, you know, we should have this conference in a place where every single country can go to and there's more visibility. Whether we bring the Zero Conference to lots of different countries or the Zero Project to lots of different countries or I think the aim is to bring it to the UN, I don't know, but it needs to be bigger because the work being done here is significant and I think the people who are doing it here are very committed. Thank you very much.